you know, having your own space is a great start, right? Because you get to uh, make sure that it's set up for max efficiency for what we do. Uh, but having that much space available to us is an added bonus because it really allows us to spread out our work uh, so that we're not all confined or not in a tight space and vary what we do. And uh, you know, a big part of the Griff Cave advantage is that in the long winter, we can really mix things up. And, and having that space and being able to assemble it any way we want, you know, that's terrific. It's a real luxury on this campus. Not a lot of teams have their own specific space where they can go and just work as a team. I would have to say when we see the blue uh, wires hooked up to the ergs when we're going to have our splits projected on the screen, that's probably the most intense moment. You know when you walk in like it's going to be a bloodbath. So the technology that we have now of, of hooking the uh, ergometers into the computer and being able to form teams together on the computer helps us take one more step toward what happens on the water. During racing times, it gets very loud. The music starts playing, lights go out. And manipulating things like the lighting and getting into a very dark space and creating a lot of noise which is very distracting and, and can take us away from our goal. Creating all that environment on a, a weekly basis is really a fantastic opportunity for our student athletes. It teaches you how to be a racer and you can learn that on the water but I think it's better just to sort of learn it and practice it here well, rather than in the middle of a race. When we add to that the technology of the slides where the, the rowing machines are hooked together and moved back and forth together, it gives us an opportunity to perform as a team and to get that feedback of speed as a team. You want to have that healthy competition between your teammates because if it wasn't there, you wouldn't succeed on the water against other teams. And we can't simulate water, we can't simulate uh, you know, a crowd or other things like that, but we can take all of those things that uh, do affect them in a race and, and put it together in the training. With all like that stimulation downstairs, you learn how to focus and like how to take from the environment without going crazy. Well to have your heart rate monitor on the screen at first is very daunting I guess because then you get to see how hard you're working, how hard others are working. If someone's working harder than you, you have to get your heart rate up to match theirs. It's kind of like another coach that's always there and always over your shoulder telling you like what you need to improve on. So with the heart rate you can work on trying different techniques to try to keep your heart rate in a certain zone. With the heart rate, we get a report on our overall count, like how many calories we burned. It helps me to understand like where I need to work on and how to expand my overall heart rate zone. It's a great advantage in the moment and it allows us to affect practice while we're doing it, but it's really great for the post hoc analysis when we go back and we look at video and we combine it with heart rate and with speed data. Uh, and that's the same thing we do on the water. So this is another case where we can take what we do on the water and bring it back inside. We're actually one of the only colleges that has as many simulator seats as we do. It's pretty much a boat out of water. If you see it, it's above the ground. It's like a couple feet off the ground. And you have like half of an oar and it's pretty much, you're just rowing out of water. No one is too good not to be able to work with all their teammates. And it's, it's really true because hopping on the simulator, like sometimes it'll be really easy to work with someone and then other times you'll really struggle to get that. Because we're using all of the muscles all through the winter, we're not facing the same problem we used to face when we go out on the water and all of a sudden we're adding motion that we haven't done for months. Uh, it really cuts down on injury and it cuts down on soreness and it, it raises their level of, of performance as we go through the, the course of the spring. The coaches can really just come right up to you and be like, this is what you need to fix. And then when we go out on the water, it really um, projects. So we're able to take all of these training uh, equipment indoors, leverage the technology we have indoors and out so that it's almost a seamless transition. There's very little difference between the one and the other. And that means we're really training year round. And that's a huge advantage for us. <laughs> Can't get rid of the winter here in Buffalo, and I don't think we would, but we can certainly minimize its effect on our rowing and maximize our ability to come out ready to go.